Welcome back to my show. I'm The Beard Venture, and today's special guest is my little sister. <laughs> so when I asked her if she wanted to be in a video, she said she did, but she wanted to do a special beer. Her favorite beer, Red Stripe. Okay, so, you know, we, we usually do a little pour, but we kind of got up ahead of ourselves and, well, yeah. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. A lot of times we pick our beers based on how much fun we were having when we started drinking that beer. And this is a beer that she liked the taste of. And so as she drank it, she had fun with this beer. So it's a special beer to her. So uh, let's let's get into Cheers. trying it. All right. You know, if you've never had Red Stripe, you're kind of missing out. Uh, it's only 4.7% alcohol, literally like brewed in Jamaica. Most people have never seen the big 24-ounce uh, bottle. Um, apparently since 1928, they've been making Red Stripe, uh, which I've been drinking it since I was 21. So I've been drinking this for over 20 years. And uh, I don't know. I've just, I've always liked the taste of Red Stripe. It's real crisp, and it's it's kind of the embodiment of a Sumter beer to me. Yeah? It's got enough body to it, in my opinion, that, I mean, like, I taste, I feel like I'm drinking a beer. I'm not drinking beer-flavored water, but at the same time, it's crisp. It's got just the right amount of taste to me, and I could drink a lot of these, and I don't drink much. Well. Yeah. I think it's actually got a decent little malt backbone to where it, like she said, it's full flavor. Uh, there's no discernible hop aftertaste, which is something that a lot of my friends really like. You know, it, it's not bitter. Um, it's mildly sweet, but it's not like candy or anything. Okay, I get that. You know? Yeah. Um, there's... It almost smells a little bit like honey. Huh. Maybe that's why I've liked it all these years. I mean, it's just... <sighs> and it's remarkably smooth to be as crisp as it is. I'll tell you something that I like about it. I don't like... One thing I don't like about liquors is they have a burn aftertaste. Okay. I don't like that. And some beers that are stronger, that are like a heavier taste, have that burn aftertaste or that nasty aftertaste. With the Red Stripe, I don't feel like I have that nasty aftertaste. I don't feel a burn. It's just really smooth. It's really, like I feel like, I, I don't know. I, I, it's lighter. It's lighter and I could drink a lot of them. But it actually has a flavor yes. unlike a light it's, beer. Yes. I like that. You know, that makes sense. And they're fun to drink on cruise ships. Oh. <laughs> I also kind of like the stubby bottle. I know that sounds kind of funny, too. but um, I think they're now stickers. They used to be painted. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they are stickers. Which is kind of a bummer, but. I mean, you know. Uh, maybe it keeps the price down. Yeah. I had gotten a bottle cutter around Christmas. I was hoping to cut these and make them into a little drinking glass, but I don't know. If it's got just a sticker. I don't know if I really want to do it. I don't know. Practice on it. Well, I guess we get down to that point where we uh, we start my rating system of did you dig it? Well, we kind of already knew you dig it. I do. Yeah, I do too. Um, will you have another? Anytime I get to get a beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We do the whole pick six type thing. How many would you put in a pick six? Uh, I mean, when it's a big one like this, that's not uh, really applicable, but they do sell them in six packs, and usually I just buy a whole six pack. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So on my scale of one to ten, one's the lowest, ten's the highest. What do you rate it? It's my ten. It's my go-to beer. All right. Awesome. Uh, for me... It, it's uh, it's a seven. Uh, it's it's a good beer. It's just there's nothing wrong with it. I don't really want anything more. I don't want anything less from it. I like it the way it is. I don't drink beer hardly ever, 
and that's the one I choose when I do drink beer. Well, awesome. <laughs> well, there you have it. Until your next beer adventure, cheers.